All righty then. Just get some soft drink. Ah, oh my god, that is very, very painful. Oof. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Why does that hurt then? For some reason, using my left arm. Strange. Right. Anyway, for the people in the chat that can hear me, hi there, folks. I can see that I've just gone live. Um, apologies. I'm gonna. Be, well, I'll, I'll do this whole spiel again in a minute. But I'm gonna be a bit fragile this morning. I'm in a lot of pain. My, my, I, I just slept funny on my, on my back, and oof, very, very painful. Back pain. Very, yeah, just generally. So I'm on some painkillers, but bloody hell. Ah, <sighs> so apologies. I might be a bit rubbish today. We'll have to, we'll have to take it a bit light. <sighs> Is there a cushion, actually? I wonder if I can grab a cushion. There's a cushion over there. Bear with me just a second. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay. Whoops. Right. Oh, dear. Well, that might be doing more harm than good, actually. We'll have to... Eh, uh, might be all right. We'll see. We'll leave it there. I might, I might remove the cushion soon. Um... Okay. <clears throat> right, can you guys see RimWorld okay? Ah, uh, yes, there we go, cool. Right. Oh, pardon me. Oh, ow, that really hurt. Oh. Thank you, uh, Dark Rovlug. Thank you, sir. Thank you sincerely. Right, I can see that people, oh, I can see that people are uh, joining the chat now. Hi there, folks. I hope you're all right. I uh, hope you're having a nice, smooth Monday, wherever you are in the world, and whatever it is you find yourself doing. So, over here, sorry, as I was just saying to people, um, apologies, I might be a bit shit this morning. I'm going to try my best, but uh, for some reason, my back really hurts. I just slept on it funny. You know how sometimes you, you wake up and just like, oh dear, I've gone and just done my back in. Um, yeah, so, I'm so I was sort of pootling about like an old man uh, this morning, just trying to take the dog for a walk. I couldn't even throw her ball because I couldn't bend down to pick it up. And I'm just sort of sitting awkwardly in this chair with a cushion wedge behind it. But um, yeah, very, very painful. So I'm going to try my... P okay, hang on. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, I'll be fine. <coughs> Sorry, like shooting, like it's like shooting pain going up my spine. I'll be fine. Um, right, thank you, beheaded and Antaru and or HP. Thank you, all of you. That's very kind. Thank you, folks. Um, so yes, uh, so what's happening today? So, uh, in short, uh, I have spoken to my patrons and Twitch subs, and uh, the, I, I basically wanted to ask them a question, and that question was. Are they okay with me trying to just quickly finish a piece of a video essay? So for those who are not familiar, in addition to the bullshittery stuff, I've been trying to create some video essays over the last few years. That process hasn't gone well, unfortunately. Uh, that process has been plagued by uh, a quality control... Pro well, firstly by scope creep, because the project got bigger and bigger. Uh, it's now 13 pieces. Each individual piece is as... Uh, effort intensive as a normal bullshittery and the second problem is a quality control problem in the fact that my own inexperience when it comes to the creation of video essays means that the initial five of the 13 so 10 have been done but the initial five aren't very good so uh, I asked them whether or not they'd, they'd be okay with me quickly going away to polish one of these five and they said yes so uh, thank you for your responses. If you if you emailed me or sent me a comment on Patreon, I have read them all. Thank you very much. I do need to respond to some of them this morning, though. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, spend this week doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try and finish this piece and uh, yeah, and then present it to you as soon as I can, effectively. So um, yeah, is the face cam on? Well, it's not really a face cam. It's a Lulu butt cam. She's sitting up above the sofa where the radiator is because she's cold. She's fine. She's just looking out the window. She's got like a warm front paws and a comfy bum. And her head is probably pressed against the window. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Um, right. My, keep my sofa clean. Yeah, it's a bit filthy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, um, so as for... Right, yes, yeah, so, uh, sorry. Too long didn't read for the people joining. Uh, the latest video isn't a bullshittery. It's something else which I'm trying to finish uh, in the hopes that I can d diversify the content on the channel. Please bear with me. Uh, and as for right now, I'm, oof, 
I'm just going to play a bit of RimWorld and do my best. But apologies if I struggle or I'm generally a bit shit. I'm in quite a bit of pain from sleeping on my back funny for like no reason beyond the fact that I'm old. So welcome indeed. Uh, back to Tundra Fall. Ah, I've done it again. Coloma's Creek. Uh, so welcome to Coloma's Creek. So this uh, river-based colony that we have here. Uh, just going to pop the music on. Uh, this is the sixth year. We're entering the autumn of the sixth year. Now, I did play a little bit last night, perhaps longer uh, later into the evening than I should have. Uh, and we've, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've made some modifications to the base. I've built some rooms here, whereas before we had our farming location. These two rooms I got set up to put the hay, the hay grass, to feed the animals. And I have indeed moved the hay, uh, moved the animals inside now. So the livestock, the cows and the camels and the boomalopes. They're now going to stay in this room for the winter, which is heated by the exhaust from this cooler, which is keeping their hay refrigerated or frozen. So, um, yeah, they're going to stay here. Well, hopefully they'll, they'll be safe from predators and raids and shit. Uh, sorry, why do we have combat music? What's that about? Are we under attack? The game thinks we're under attack. Oh, we are under attack. A, a, a single raider lady is attacking us. Uh, she's rubbish. Um, right. Wait, is she rubbish? Yeah, she's rubbish. Um, okay. Yeah, she's just attacking one of our mining camps. It's all good. Right, okay, so as for us here, her, over at Coloma's Creek, so it's now the autumn of the sixth year, soon to be the winter, and we just, we, yeah, we have plenty of supplies. Our hydroponics bay is nice and mature now, uh, although, yeah, we're struggling with power. We can't seem to keep it all running. So, yeah, we're going to have to build additional solar generators, I think, get as much steel as we can, and, uh, yeah. Cool. Right. Let's do that here then. Let's get some... Uh, oh, no, it's the... No, we could. It's the wind turbine. Mm. Get some additional solar generators here. So, uh, build four at least. We're going to need steel and components. Do we have any? Question mark? Uh, oh, I think we might be shit out of luck. Uh, oh, no, wait. What's that? A bit of steel. 36 units of steel. Arse. Okay, we're going to have to get lo a lot more then. So Hoodoo's going to have to drill for some. Oh, well done. There we go. Thank you, Ghost Waffle. Thank you very much, Ghost Waffle. Right, let's cancel those hydroponics bays for the minute. Uh, do we have the... Re Damn, the reserve battery was already deployed. So yeah, we are just struggling with power big time. Uh, the wood generators are on. Does that mean we're going to lose all of the hydroponics? I think we are. The potatoes are just going to rot, aren't they? That sucks. Okay. Thank you, Sodium. Thank you very much, Sodium. One of the original three colonists buried over here. Which one is your grave, Sodium? There you are. And Formiga, and Forlorn, and Ghost Waffle, and Aunt Antaru, and Beheaded. Thank you sincerely, folks. That's very generous. And Executive Order. Thank you, Executive. Thank you kindly. Yes, hospital beds would be a good idea as well, but again, it's components and steel that we're low on right now. Oh yes, we were working on the southern defences. Did we get the northern defences going? We have one autocannon turret. Yes, our defences are still a little bit gimped, aren't they? Right. Okay, Jonah's fully healed. Good, he's gotten over... Oh, wait, yeah, he's gotten over his malaria. Right. Cargo pods have been detected going through re-entry over at the Western Mining Camp. Truth be told, the Western Mining Camp has such a, a bounty of steel. I wonder if it has any ship parts. A, sh a single ship chunk. Oh, there's, there's a bunch more up there. Three up there. We should definitely go for... Yeah, we should send an expedition over to the Western Mining Camp. Retrieve more. Look, there are e even synthetic bodies that are almost decomposed. Yeah, we should certainly uh, try and retrieve what we can. Send an away team. Right. Okay, so we'll do that in the morning, I think. It's already 11 in the evening. The colony's going to bed. Now that it's nighttime, all of the sun lamps are switched off, which means that the power demand won't be as high. So as you can see, the various elements of the base are coming back online, powered by wind and geothermal power only. Oh, and water. We've got a single water mill. Hmm. Indeed, geothermals would be a good idea. Alas, I don't seem to have many geothermal opportunities near me compared to Tundrafall. I mean, there are some. One, two... Where's the third one? Here. Yeah, they're a bit out in the sticks. I mean, this would be... This would interfere with... This would create a cover for a kill zone. I suppose there's already trees. There's already cover. But yeah, it is worth thinking about. It's not that far. And it's fairly stable power, as in geothermal. Okay. Right. 
So, people have gone to bed. All good. Hi there, Messi. Good morning, Messi. Right. Thank you, um, Pitch Pitrick. Thank you, Pitrick. Thank you sincerely. Hey. Okay, so Farron is still awake. Why is that? Uh, hi oh, yes, we have a psychic drone as well. So all the ladies of the colony are feeling a bit upset. Lady Slaughter, I think she's... Why is she... Oh, hi, psychic drone. Oh, yes, of course, the wedding... Sorry, yeah, last night the wedding went ahead. And it was all good. So the wedding was uh, was uh, took place between Gumball and Oros. So congratulations, they are now hitched. They're husband and wife. And they like each other a lot. And they've had sex twice, just, just this night. And TNT's been watching. What the fuck? TNT? Get the fuck get the fuck out of there! Go back to your bedroom. That's not your bedroom. This is your bedroom. You've got your own chair. Thank you, Prime Shadow. Thank you very much. She likes to watch. How weird. Uh, okay, so the random tribal that attacked our southern mining camp is gonna bugger off. Yeah, there's nothing really worth. Uh, you know, nothing really. We, we don't have to worry about losing much of this. We can just replace it really easily. Right. So, uh, yeah, everyone's going to bed for it's already one in the morning. Apart from TNT, who's a night owl. She likes to be up at night. She's off to go to the research bay to work on um, power armor. So she's two thirds of the way through researching power armor, which would be an excellent boon for the base. Yeah. Right. Oh, dearie me. Very, very painful. Oh. But yes, I hope everyone's having a lovely Monday. A nice smooth start to your week. Too long didn't read. I'll be working on a piece of a video essay for YouTube. Uh, which I don't know when I'll have it ready. But it's not a super long one. So, phrasing. So, um, you know, hopefully it won't be... It, hopefully the effort involved won't be that big. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Um, also, very briefly, um, yes, I, thank you very much if you did respond to me as a patron or, or a Twitch sub. Um, I feel that I can, it sounds wishy-washy, but it feels like I'm able to at least talk to my audience. Yeah, talk to my audience, which is good. And the audience gives me a good broad range of opinions. and a, An opinion bath is good. Uh, I wonder if perhaps other big YouTubers, or at least YouTubers of my size, uh, are able to speak to their audience in that way. I, I wonder if they just have a big amorphous blob of, X million subscribers, and then they just can't, you know, they can't really communicate with any of them. But I think I feel that I can with you guys, so thank you very much. Thank you for your opinions. It's all good. You let me help me refine the quality of the product. Yes, opinion bath, as in, you know, just just get opinions, good or bad, find out what works, what doesn't, how well you're doing, and if you're not, where, you know, where where are the areas that you need to work on? Who's this? A wanderer has joined. A villager named Lawrence. Okay, 35-year-old villager. Uh, so a random villager has just wandered into the southern mining camp. Hello. Uh, a body purist who is kind. A former inventor. Okay. Uh, he could be interesting. Right, so welcome indeed. So a 35-year-old... Uh, does he come from the colony ship? I would assume so. An inventor. Maybe he's a tribal. Does it say? No, he's a tribal. He's, yeah, so this, this is a random tribal. Thank you, Terry. Thank you very much, Terry. Um, so, any any patrons? Would any patrons like to volunteer to be this tribal man, this tribal inventor? Hmm. Feel free to raise your... Sorry, so um, forward slash W Soviet Womble to whisper me on Twitch and just send me the password that's on Patreon. So that I know who's a patron. Apologies, the Twitch subs have got it easy because you guys got a, a label, but the patrons have to go through that hassle. Sorry. Thank you, Fudge. Thank you very much, Fudge. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my back. Um, just turned to reach for a post-it note there. Pain just shot up. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Writing down some names, then I'll flip a coin. Oh. Cool, quite a few volunteer loads of volunteers, holy shit. Thank you folks. Uh, there we go. 
Whew. Right. Thank you, Harry Tobias. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you sincerely. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two, hang on. <laughs> heads, tails, heads, tails. That's, what is that? That's heads. Okay, so one of these two. That's tails. So, welcome to the colony. Uh, law, is it lawfoot or law, lawfoot? Fot. How, how's it spelled? Sorry. Where's law? Is he here? Hang on. Oh. Where is he? Uh... Law fought. Ah. Cool. Law fought. Are you okay with that? Oh. Thank you, Meta. Thank you very much, sir. Matter, sorry. I misread that. Thank you, Matter Gaming. Oh, dear. Hi there, Duck Slayer. Hi, man. Cheers for the game this weekend, by the way. Oh, my God. That was painful. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just trying to keep my, my spine as still as I can. Sorry, I, 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 I slept on my back funny, so God, my back really hurts. Thank you, Matter Gaming and Sweet Corn. Thank you very much. And Malpheus. And Drathus. Thank you kindly. Right, anyway, welcome, uh, Lawfoot. So, um, he's. So, on his home world, this is your home world. Lawfoot uh, worked as a moderately successful inventor. He developed several new technologies, uh, minor technologies. So gave him a, a crafting boost and a slight intellectual boost. So we could get this guy. So he could come back and start working on. Well, just start working on uh, inventing shit. He's got a minor passion for it, crafting. He's also too smart, which means he's too smart for his own good. He learns everything much faster than everyone, but can be quite eccentric. He's also a body purist, so he believes that the human body is limited for a reason. To him, artificial body parts are unethical and disgusting. Disgusting. Um, he's also a, a nice person. He has a tendency to brighten everyone else's day and never insults others. Okay. Well, welcome, Law. Firefight, be a patient, get, be get bed rest, deal with switches. Please handle crafting and... Well, yeah, tailoring and smithing, I guess. Sweet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, dig... Yeah. Uh, some ver some uh, variety, I think, Duxlayer would have been appreciated in the zombie thing. But it's a good start. Like, different maps, maybe. Or having to fall back to different locations. Thank you, Hendrelex. Thank you very much, sir. Right, so as for Lawfot, we'll have him gather... Well, I, I might as well just have him leave... Immediately, frankly. Is there anything he could pick up here? Guess not. I mean, hang on. Well, we've already got a very intelligent researcher pin in, so we'll be alright. So if you could just grab whatever you can, really. Uh, uh, yeah, just grab as much steel as you can carry and start on heading over. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Lawfot is on his way. Oh yes, also uh, last stream we picked up George, who is a, uh, he's a psychopathic uh, tribal healer. Well, uh, he was originally from the colony ship, but he was assisting uh, the, a local tribe as a healer. Uh, so he's joined us now, he handles most of the infirmary duties. He doesn't know anyone here though. Oh, holy shit! He does! I didn't check this before. He's Cyanide's brother! Really? Oh god. Where is that? Uh, is that the southern mining kit? No, it's the western one, we're fine. Just another uh, bandit patrol. Uh, fuck! Holy shit! Si George is Cyanide's brother? I was unaware. Yeah. Didn't like him. <laughs> didn't like Cyanide because he was ugly. Charming. Yeah. <sighs> right. Yeah, so gets a, 20, a plus 20 social bonus. But the fact that Cyanide was his brother, but also minus 20 because he was so ugly. So, it's just a random acquaintance because you're just that, you're that bad looking. Right. Okay, the power situation is still pretty desperate, frankly. Okay, we need to do something about this, don't we? We can't have refrigeration fail on us. Switch off non-essential systems. Frankly, let's switch off the hydroponics. We have enough food to keep us going for now. 
but we need refrigeration, otherwise things will start decomposing on us. Switch off all the hydroponics and that sun lamp, we'll switch those on later. Try to keep these running if we can. Psychoid plants that we can sell. Right. And also, you know, we need power in the event of a, a decent sized attack. Right. So the colonists are going around switching off the television, the research bench. Let's switch up. Well, I need the smelter on. Cool. Lawfot is on his way. Woo! Yeah, they're both ugly, aren't they? Staggeringly ugly is George. The apple does not fall far from the tree. Right. Do broken systems draw more electricity? I don't know, El Dukes. I don't know, I'm afraid. Okay, Novi's pregnant again. Cool. So quite a few. Yeah, so both Zeiss. So Zeiss the cow is pregnant. Oh, as is Novi. As is Digby. <laughs> right. Oh, damn. Low power. Yes, seriously low power. Yeah, we need to get... Uh, yeah, we just need more solar generators. Uh, 70 units of steel. It takes about 100 units per individual solar generator. Right. Just going to have to keep working on it. Yeah, I'll send that away, team. So we'll pick up a stack of simple meals and send them off. It's 8 in the morning. Oh, it's an eclipse. Ah, that would be why. It's because they're not working at all. Of course. <clears throat> Right, um, so let's go to the world screen, select Coloma's Creek, form caravan, and we'll get Dudaday the geologist, we'll get Finn, who is also so the uh, Glitter World surgeon who also enjoys mining. Um, okay, we'll also get, uh, send Podo as well. No, he's quite depressive, he'll get upset, leave him. Um, Jonah, Jonah, you go as well. Could you please take the two camels? So take. Ah. Uh, yeah, take the two camels. Neville and uh, Edberg, or Camelberg as we call them. Okay. And we'll head over and we'll start getting as much steel as we can and bring it back. I wonder if we can load up the cows as well. No. What about the. Uh... Nah. Yeah, more pack animals might be good. Like if we can get a whole load of muffalo or something, that would be good, wouldn't it? What's the best pack animal? Does anyone know? Is it mu is it muffalo? Okay, let's take ten simple. We'll, yeah, we won't be there for very long. Take ten simple meals, and that should be it because it's so close that it won't really matter. It's like you know, barely any time at all. Right. Okay, so three of my colonists are now getting ready. They're going to head to the nearby western camp. Might have to shoot that lady that's attacking it. The caravan. Ah, good. Lawfot has arrived. Welcome, Lawfot. Right, which bed is going to be Lawfot's? Do we have one for him? Ah, we might be all out, actually, come to think of it. Any in the spare? Okay, looks like he's going to have to take one of the prisoner rooms. I built these prisoner rooms. They're a bit shit, but, you know, better than nothing. Okay. Right. So, the caravan is getting ready to go. Um, yeah, batteries are still really low due to this eclipse. That's frustrating. So, Joan is getting ready and assembled. Chucky, the artist, is just working to prepare some meals. I had him deprioritize his artwork for this reason. Just, you know, get some food going. Uh, okay, so gum... Ooh, transport pod crash. Loads of people are turning up. Holy shit, what's Randy planning? Um... Oleg, a blacksmith from the... Whoa! Ho 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 ho! Fuck! Whoa! Okay! Singy's father! Singy's father has arrived! And shares Singy's burning passion for melee fighting! Okay! Holy fuck! What a capable. Incapable of intellectual pursuits, but a very strong warrior. A 54-year-old man, a father. That doesn't make any sense. Singy was a tribal girl from a village. 
How could this guy from the cryo ship? Oh, whatever. Um, yeah, sometimes the random generation doesn't really make much sense. He's at the southern camp. We're going to have to send a rescue team. Dies in seven hours. Oof, we don't have much time. All right, let's uh, get a bedroll, get some meds, get over there, save his life. Um, we'll have to send... Well, send George. He's capable. Uh, was, no, yeah, send George. Yeah. No, he can't fight very well. Um, well, hang on. How many predators are down south? Predators as in wolves, not like, you know, predators. Uh, what, a single tim timber wolf? How far away is it? Oh, God, it's right nearby. Uh, <clears throat> well, hopefully, you'll be you'll be done and dusted and out of there before that causes a problem. I mean, if worse comes to the worst, we'll drop additional reinforcements to kill the bloody wolf. Right, George, can you get down there? So, George, I want you to go grab this knife, get these meds, jump in that pod, grab that le uh, light leather bedroll. So here comes George. Grab that. Can you just pick it up? No. Thank you, Martha. Thank you sincerely, Martha. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, okay. He should just be rescued out of principle. Well, principles are all well and good, but principles won't defend your base when it's getting shot to shit and you don't have anyone capable of fighting. Um, right, so George... As in, you do need to be a bit pragmatic when it comes to survival. But yeah, we, we definitely could use this guy. Uh, okay, so grab a light leather bedroll. I'm assuming it was the excellent one. You can't... Hang on. No, it's a good one. Fuck. I, I can't really have him run far because the, the guy won't last very long. So, right, George. I don't know which one it is. Shit. Never mind. Uh, and meds and food. Does he have to go get food? Will there be berries on site? Uh, let's just... Uh, no, just, just go. Just go, George. Quick. Thank you, that guy, Jack, and Nova. Thank you very much. Thank you. So he's... That's right. George is grabbing some herbal meds. He's going to go pop them in the transport pod there. Hi there, Bavin. ZF Bavin is in the chat, folks. A clan mate, feel free to say hi. Our resident musical man. Alright. Good, that was the right one. Uh, Take some food. Yeah, yeah, we'll just take the survival meals then. They're, they'll be closest. Uh, damn. Can I modify? I'll just do it in a minute. Hang on. Uh, cancel. Get out. Right. George. Items. The four package survival meals. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And the herbal meds. Yeah. Cool. Go, go, go. Pops them in. Go. Yeah, off to get the survival meals. Huh. And hi there, Miss Jaina. Uh, so that's Miss Jaina, folks. That's Quebec's significant other. Right. Cool. Ready for launch. Let's go. So this drop pod is now going to sh yeah fly this way. So George, our psychopathic tribal he well uh, healer. Is on his way south to try and grab Singy's father. Okay. Dies in five hours. Should be plenty of time. Stick him in there, George, quick. No, no, no time for that shit. No time, George. Quickly. Get that bed rolled down. We'll set it as a med bed. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah, I know. Miss Jaina. Oh my god, I'm in so much pain. I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best, but I'm. It's very hard to concentrate. Oh dear. Nep is pregnant. Hurrah! Cool. Lots of. Yeah, this is good. The, 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 the livestock's getting. You know, they're, they're safe, they're well fed, they're breeding. So we have. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, yes. This one's called Birdie, by the way. Um, another cow. 
The male one. I'm not going to bother naming the male ones because they're just... They get queued for slaughter. But the female ones are really good. They're converting grass into milk. So about one and a half meals per day. Which is really useful. There we go. Cool. George is dealing with it. Yeah, just stinging. Yeah, painful. Messy. Very. Hi there, Peely. Good morning, sir. Right, there we go. Oh no, Lawfort is having a tantrum. No, don't you dare! He's off to destroy the ground penetrating radar. That's fucking expensive. Fuck you. Batman, stop him. Stanky, back him up. So Lawfort, our, our tribal inventor who just arrived, has decided fuck that piece of modern technology. Blah! I'm off to kick it. Oh, he's still got that knife. Well, Batman's got a sword. Batman, put the sword down. Okay, now I want you to try and arrest him. Take him. Yeah, well, we've got prisoner rooms over there. Right. We're not, not going to let you do that. Arrest. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good. He's Yeah, he's coming quietly. All right. So escort him, then go get your sword again. Oh, dear. Yeah, you can cool your heels in one of the... In, yeah, prison areas. Jesus Christ. Well done, Batman. Okay, Siggy's father is okay, but it's going to take some time before we can transport... Well, we probably, yeah, we'll probably be able to drag him. Let's just get him stabilized and, you know, walking. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. moving my if my diaphragm moves too much my it really i've got like sorry for the people joining the chat for some reason i slept on my back funny and it really hurts and burping is just incredibly painful holy crap no no lying down hurts that's the problem agarob I, I, I went to lie down it hurts even more see it seems that sitting up straight with a cushion keeping my diaphragm still Seems to be... Seems to be okay. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I'll go to a doctor if it, if it persists, but... You know, don't go... Don't... The moment something's wrong, run to your GP. Because the GP just tells you to go home. Stop being a hypochondriac. <clears throat> right, okay. The away team that I sent, consisting of... Uh, who was it? It was uh, due today... Uh, yeah, so do today Jonah and Finn. They're just about to arrive at the mining camp west. I believe it is still under attack. Yeah, a guy called Mitch. Is he buggering off? He doesn't have much to attack because really there's not much here. Hmm. So they should arrive soon. When they do, let's just clear these areas here. I just set up some uh, storage areas. Uh, quite a few of them randomly spread all over, frankly. Uh, delete, delete, delete. They're going to start trying to unload their equipment. Yeah, we never actually set up a true base here. Um, I suppose just, yeah, around here is fine. Same as before. Oh, yeah, all the animals died to toxic fallout. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, it would be quite chilly. Uh, should we set up a hut? I mean, are they going to be here for that long? Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll just set up somewhere in, inside the ancient evil. Um, we'll just put uh, three sleeping spots. And just uh, maybe close the... Yeah, just get a door on. Just in case we get like an animal hurt, you know, an aggressive group of animals. Allocate this is the home zone. Just remember to switch it off before the... Uh, uh, what is it before the? Oh, they're here. Uh, before any tribals attack and try and break open the cryopods. Oh, my... Mitch might be doing it now. Right, you three stay together. Go and deal with the bandit. Thank you, Eber. Thank you very much, Eber. Oh, happy birthday, to Turk. And thank you, Crundug. Thank you sincerely. Much appreciated. Oh, one of our huskies has given birth. Sweet. Okay. 
Okay, so we've arrived at the Western Mining Camp, and the objective here is going to be to uh, gather up as much as we can in terms of steel. Ah, the eclipse is over. The solar panels will start working properly. All right, so Finn, Dujade, and Jonah, could you just line up, please? So Dujade, our cranky geologist, Finn over here. Oh, hang on a minute. The deep muggers, Dujade gets to get a little bit of revenge for his fallen lover, Emerald. Jonah, step up to the plate. Watch yourself. Oh, there we go. Sweet. All right. Stand down. <coughs> He's dead. Right. So, uh, start digging then, please. Start digging. We'll put down a stockpile for the steel. Uh, where are the animals? I need to bring them over here. Uh, we'll assign this as the home zone. Clear home zone. And then tell the animals to come over here. Restrict them to the home zone so they don't wander too far. Cool. Dude, today's just grabbing a meal. Yeah, get as much steel as we can, then bring it home. Could somebody go and deconstruct the uh, ship parts? For they will have components which will prove extremely useful to us. <laughs> I see, Epic Raccoon. Yeah. As a failed ra radiographer? Is that how you say it? Right. Uh, oh! Okay. Singy's father has joined us. Well, I suppose he's got nothing better to do. Okay. Oh, 67 new neutromine. Nice. Well done, George. George is just hauling in some in some useful stuff. Well done indeed, George. Yeah, certainly get it under a roof. Get it preserved. Well, it's still outside. It will start to deteriorate. Ooh. Mm. Chop wood here. Yeah, we'll leave fairly soon. Regular door there. Okay. Yes, we will be. So, I'll do that now, in fact. Could I have any volunteers for Singy's father? He's a 54-year-old man, a, a blacksmith, formerly. Chronologically, he's 93, so he's 50, so he's been in cryo for a while. He has a chemical fascination, uh, so he likes drugs. He's quite nervous, but he's quite kind with a burning passion for melee fighting. He loves the, the tangle and the, the mess of a good fight. So any Twitch subs, please volunteer now. I will pick somebody. This is Singy's father. Thank you, Basta and Crumdug. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Right. Uh, let's start writing names. Let's have a look. Uh... Okay. And lastly, cool. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Furil and Basta. Thank you, both of you. Sorry, I need to fix the chat. I scrolled up. Okay, uh, heads, tails. Hang on. Heads, tails, heads, tails. Leave it to chance. Heads, so it's one of the top two. So heads, tails. That would be heads. Right. Cool. So welcome to the colony, Singy's father. Appropriately, Mr. Is it Stro Stromax? I can't read my own damn writing. Mr. Stomax? Strom Stromax. Strommax? I can't... Sorry, how is it spelled? Where's Mr.? Thank you, Spook. Thank you very much, Spook. Mr. Stro... Mr. Stromax. Yeah. Thank you, Spook Ollie and Katsun. Thank you very much. Is he there? Okay, so, Mr. Stromax. No one knows his first name. He goes by surname only. Quite a no-nonsense man, quite gruff, um, as expected from, you know, a warrior like himself. Um, thank you, a M. Feltman. Thank you very much, M. Feltman. Thank you. So, Mr. Stromax is, is a man's man. He's a blacksmith. So, as a smith on a medieval world, Mr. Stromax gained a reputation for the high quality of his work. He wasn't uh, bad at using a sword. He forged either. 
So shooting skill reduced, melee skill greatly improved, crafting skill also quite a bit. This could be very good, in fact. Two potential decent crafters with uh, Mr. Stromax and uh, who's a new joiner. No, sorry. Uh, fuck. Was it George? Who did we just bring back a second ago? Was it Mr. Stromax? Was it George? My brain. Oh, it's um, fucking Lawfot, but he he's in prison. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, he's also he has he uh, he has an intense fascination with chemical sources of enjoyment. Mr. Stromax will consume much more of them, and if not already addicted to any drug and satisfied, he will sometimes go on hard drug binges. He will ignore directives to not use pleasurable drugs. Mr. Stromax tends to crack under pressure, however, but generally he's quite kind. Mr. Stromax is a nice person. He has a tendency to brighten everyone else's day and never insults others. He has a burning passion for melee fighting, and he really, really likes farming. Nice. Okay. Right, so in which case, we'll probably assign him to the fields then. And uh, when not, yeah, uh, when not, he'll be a, a capable warrior for the colony. So let's just assign him stuff. So could you please focus on plant growing, work in the hydroponics bay, and if not craft, if not haul, yeah, maybe... Maybe smith a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, probably wants to grow his own drugs. So back at the main colony, if this were the case... So our prime... So Podo is assisting with the growing. He has a skill of 15 and a burning passion for it. So we'll leave him. Uh, ben only has a minor passion for it. Does she have a burning passion for anything else? Uh, she really wants to be a doctor. I suppose, yeah, if we, could, if we prioritized her as the doctor, what could George do instead? No, George also has a, a burn. Oh, he's over there, isn't he? All right. Yeah, we'll just be, yeah, just an, an extra hand in the fields, frankly. Uh, this also means that, hang on, so growing. Uh, growing, Podo, Ben, Batman. Okay, Batman, never mind about the growing. You just handle the animals. Hmm. Good. This is good. And more importantly, he's a capable warrior. We're going to need that if we're going to survive on this hostile rim world. Welcome, Mr. Stromax. Right, okay then. Oh. Sorry. Um, right, so uh, George is grabbing some random animal hair. Okay. Um, let's just get you home. Let's get you guys back. Can you, can, Mr. Stromax, can you walk? Injured, neutral, resting. I believe he can walk. Yes, he can. Very slowly. Maybe just wait until he gets... Yeah, just, just wait for... Uh, Wait until tomorrow morning. It's, it's almost night time anyway. Right, how's the away team? Are they okay? Uh, they're just grabbing some steel. Uh, is there any more to grab? Oh, yeah. Who was getting the ship parts up here? Who did I order to do that? Uh, who's good at deconstructing? Jonah, you just volunteered. Off you go. Go and get the components especially. We're going to need those. There's another one down here. Uh, do today, would you mind? Okay. Hello, sweetie. How you doing? Are you okay? Are you a good girl? Hang on a second. Oh, dearie me. Hello. Oh, hello, sweetie. Yeah, I know. Who's my good girl? Huh? I'm sorry. Did you have a boring walk this morning because I couldn't bend down to pick up your ball? I know. Yes, I know. You're a good girl. She has a very, very warm belly. Where she's been on the radiator. It's a warm belly. Covered in soft, very, very soft fur. Frenchies do have si silky smooth fur. But it's not very insulative. Doesn't keep them warm. She's like, what? Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, she's all right. She's a good girl. Oh. Anyway, for those who are not familiar, that is that is Lulu. She is a three-year-old French bulldog. And, um, yeah, I'm very, very fond of her. Right, okay then. So, so the colony is just trying to retrieve... Well, sorry, the away team at the Western Mining Camp is just trying to retrieve as much steel as they can. We won't be here for too long. 
To the south, George is just watching the sunset while Mr. Stromax tries to recover. So if you didn't just see from the, uh, if you just turned up, we've just gone and saved his life after he crash landed on the on the rim world here. Did I? Oh, thank you, M. Feltman, for the sub bomb. Thank you sincerely, sir. Thank you. And bandits. Thank you kindly. That's very generous. Bandits and Mr. Feltman. Sorry, M. Feltman. Thank you kindly. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of the tiki torches now at the marriage ceremony. No one's getting married. The roses can stay, though. Oh, the dogs farted. Oh, good grief. Thank you, Lax. Thank you kindly, Lax. Oh, yes. Um, Al sorry, Alistair. I do need to do that. Sorry, dude. Um, just been in the mood for some rim world. Holy shit. What? We've gone through this much hay? We had like 8,000. We're already down to just under 5,000. Oh, my phone. Oh. Uh... Wait a minute. Sai is sending me a message to say that he dreamt about me last night. On Facebook. Hang on. Sounds gay. Are you having gay dreams? About me? Question mark. <laughs> he immediately clarifies. Nothing weird happened before you start. <laughs> Hang on. So you were in my dream last night, he says. So weird. Then he quickly says, nothing else happened. And I said, sounds gay. Are you having gay dr uh, dreams about me? Hang on. Cyanide is typing. I'm telling the stream. You're having gay dreams about me. Right. And Gorty. I'm telling Gorty. <laughs> what, what the fuck? He said they're slightly gay. What the fuck does that mean? What the ever loving fuck does they're slightly gay mean? No. In fact, I don't want to know. Fuck you. I don't want to know. The, I, that's as far as I want that conversation to go. That phone is going to the side of my desk and it's staying there. Fuck that shit. Right. Is Cyanide in, in the UK? Yes, he is, these nuts. So he uh, has dual citizenship, but so um, yes, between India and Singapore. But uh, he moved over to the UK, uh, I think it was last year, uh, to attend universities here. And he's since gone on to set up, I believe it might be two businesses now. I might be mistaken. Um, but he's he's in the UK and he's he's setting up businesses He's being like an, a, an entrepreneur, like like Del Boy, effectively. He's probably listening to this after the fact to, you know, wonder what I told, told the stream. So, yeah, he's like Del Boy. So he probably goes down to, like, markets to sell watches or something. He hasn't really gone into the details of what he does. <laughs> but, yeah, so he's um, he's here in the UK. He has a dog and a house. Um, and, uh, yeah. And uh, also Gorty. Uh, so I believe from Sweden, question mark? Moved over to move in with him. Yeah. Right, anyway. Uh, so what's going on? So the away team... Right, it's 10 in the evening. So they're almost... Yeah, they have to go to bed fairly soon. Aha, the components. Good. Finn, would you mind... Uh, come over here and grab that. Thank you. Ooh. More steel. We'll try and get that. Oh. Oh, dearie me. These lancers could prove useful as well. We should drag their bodies in. Take them with us if we can. Corpses allowed. Yeah. What's Dude Today doing? He's off to go dig. Dude Today, could I ask that you go retrieve the uh, dead synthetics that killed... In fact, this is the one that killed um, Norlock, isn't it? Ooh, wow. There's a whole thing of compacted machinery. Lovely. Right. Oh dear. Anyway, but I hope, uh, yeah, I hope folks are, are all okay watching. I hope you're all having a lovely morning. Oh, sorry, I'm in so much pain. I'm trying my best, but 
<laughs> I'm just trying to keep my diaphragm still. Every time I move, it's just stabbing pain from where I slept on my back funny. Ooh. Yeah, better to get these mechs. Well, we'll leave very soon anyway. Right. Um, okay. Um, so, yes, the away team Jonah, do today and Finn are just about to go to bed. I'm afraid we don't really have any beds for them. We just have a, a sleeping spot allocated here. They're having to sleep on their clothes. You know, just a real scrunch up jumper or something. Can't be very comfortable. Do today, where are you going? Oh, he's off to get the other Lancer. Back at the main camp, though, things are much more comfortable. Uh, the, at Coloma's Creek. So we have multiple nice warm beds. Why is, why is J, -girl, J Girl cold? 19 degrees? Oh, she's fine. Yeah, so nice warm bedrooms here, fully furnished. Similar story over here. Uh, Lawford, is, yeah, he's still in prison over there. Can someone release him? He needs food as well. No one's been feeding him. Because Jonah handles the prisoners. Fair enough. Can someone go? Oh, he's asleep anyway. It's fine. We'll free him in the morning. So yeah, we're all okay. We're all okay. Am I ready to open the pods? I really should, shouldn't I? Hmm. These guys alone. Unsupported. Nah. Okay. Right, in the morning, Mr. Stromax and George will head out together. Oops, he's sleeping in the wrong spot. Yeah. Okay. What's, um... Oh, no! Okay. Uh, where is this? Giant insects have tunneled towards you. They will break through in a few seconds to plant hives. The hive will spawn more insects and more hives. If you don't want the insects to infest the whole area, destroy the hives. But beware, the bugs will defend their home. Once again... In the same place as before. Right. So we're just going to handle this exactly as we did before. And start using incendiaries. Quite convenient that it happened at night, actually. So all, everyone's sealed inside. We're all okay. So yeah, we'll just start hitting the fuckers with incendiaries. Ooh, they could be all over the place. Thank you, R RNB. Thank you very much, RNB. Thank you kindly. Right. Seal the outer door to the north. Seal that side. Let's make sure that all of the animal... Yeah, so all of the livestock are safe and sound. Let's put all of the cats and dogs for, for the minute. We'll put them in the livestock area. And we'll activate the southern turrets. Well, yeah, again, we're just going to deal with it the exact same way we did before. Just keep everyone restricted inside before we uh, we take care of this problem. Um, right. My, my, yeah, the away team being not here is not good. I've got three capable fighters. Yeah, these guys need to head over, don't they? Um, just thinking. Hopefully they can come in on the... Mm. Okay. Doesn't matter, Stugard. We don't necessarily need to turn it into an oven. We just need to hit the hives with incendiaries. How much of it's under the mountain? Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, let's, let's just get our people back and then we'll start dealing with them. They should leave us alone for now. They'll just be wanting to protect their hive. Um, okay, so also we'll manufacture some fresh incendiary shells. Okay. Please make another 21 of them. Um, okay, cool. Um, so, you guys sleep. Actually, no, I need you to get in, don't I? Yeah, let's, let's get, get you guys going. Right, so world, caravan... Can you guys go and retrieve? Oh, damn. We didn't grab the components. Nor enough steel. Their mission is, is not complete. Hmm. Yeah, I just want my people together. There they come. Right, the bugs have tunneled out. So again, they should leave us alone. They're just going to try and, you know, we're not a threat to them. So long as we don't present a threat. They're just going to expand their hive and build. Quite a big one as well. So how many hives are we talking about? 11. 
I mean, the fact that they're in the open means we can also snipe them. Hi there, Quebec. ZF Quebec is in the chat, folks. Just make sure everyone's nice and safe and sound inside. Keep the animals restricted for the minute. In fact, can we just set the animals to... Bear with. Cats and dogs inside. Toxic fallout inside. Yeah, toxic fallout inside. Uh, yeah, the dogs are going to need food. That's the trouble. Um, well, they shouldn't... Hang on. Let's do, it, do this properly, sorry. Toxic fallout inside. Um, so just make sure that they stay in the indoor, indoor-y bits. Uh, it's alright. They, they can eat freezer food. It's, it's just fine. And then we'll assign the animals to... Uh, 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 uh. And if they drink beer or whatever, it shouldn't matter. This will be over before... Um, before that becomes too much of a concern. Okay. Um, right, so you guys over here. Sorry to wake you early, but I would like you guys to get sorted. Can you start hauling these components? Do today, still awake. <laughs> He's still hauling? Screw that, dude. Let's just uh, get as much steel as you can. I want you guys to start coming home and be safe. Any other steel just sitting around? Okay, no, uh, take that steel then. All right, okay. So for the pe yeah, for the people just joining the stream, we have a bug infestation over here. So we have a group of genetically engineered, um, what are they called? Mega spiders. Are they genetically engineered? Am I talking shit? Yeah, genetically engineered giant insectoid the size of a bear, designed for heavy work and combat. Its thick chitinous armor, chitinous armor is that correct? Uh, make it hard to kill. While at long ripping blades make it deadly, deadly in close quarters. It is, however, quite slow in open terrain. So we can kite and, and gun them down using sniper rifles. Thank you, overcooked pretzels. Thank you very much. There's still the compacted machinery. Yeah. I, I, I just need to get my warriors home. So let's get you guys back home. Okay, George. Again, I'm sorry to wake you both, but let's get you home. Grab the package survival meals, the meds there. Just grab what you can, really. Come on home. Uh, you do have some alpaca wool. Yeah, don't don't go crazy. Just 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 get what you can. The steel will be very useful, actually. Okay. Just everyone stay the fuck away from the hive. So the hive is just going to do its thing. They're just going to keep expanding. They've got their own food source, insect jelly. I uh, should do uh, proto, but those cryo, those um, things are still, they still got stuff in them. So there uh, are people in them sleeping. So, yeah. Cool. You guys retrieve those quick. Thank you, Mini. Thank you very much, Mini. Starvation Lawfot, yes indeed. Can someone release Lawfot? He's out, there we go. He's off to drink milk. Right, just need to monitor the situation. Trouble is they'll just bum rush and destroy all of our, all of our turrets if we use them, so blah. No, hell no. Um yeah, here in. The caravan would be wiped out and we'd suffer massive diplomatic pen diplomatic penalties from it. Major break for his, yeah, Mr. Stromax, he's hurt and he's tired. Starving as well. We got the food, haven't you? Yeah, eat it on the way. You're not taking the food? Oh, Mr. Stromax is, he's coming over to get it. Right. Okay, so the colony's waking up. Thank you, Bro Getter. Thank you sincerely. And Mini. And uh, Cheyenne. Shy Cheyenne? Shy Cheyenne? Warrior. Thank you very much. Thank you sincerely. Okay. Uh, so, Stanky, what are you doing? She's just having breakfast. Uh, you can't make incendiary shells? Why not? Do we lack the steel? 15 steel and 15 chem fuel apiece. Well, we have the chem fuel. 
Yeah, steel is a persistent problem, isn't it? Right. We need steel for the incendiary sh shots. Well, I suppose the away team's coming with a little bit of steel. A little bit. Is there anything we can deconstruct in the meantime? Oh, that's quite frustrating. Um, we're going to have to send somebody out to get the steel chunks here. Alright. Um, or just temporarily tunnel. Just temporarily tunnel and then close... Ah. No. Alright, send one person out cautiously. No. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Stanky, you can do it. Have your breakfast and I'll send you out to go and smelt some steel. That you're going to use to make some more shells. Right, are you guys good to go? You guys are good to go. Let's bring you home. So, um, world caravan, both camels. Yeah, all of the simple meals, all of the components. And then might as well grab the lancers. And then as much steel as you can carry. Then head on home. Off you go. Cool. So all, all of my mining camp groups are now on their way home. We're actually thinking about it. Could we ask this group here? Caravan. So f they are forming caravan. Can I change the route? I, I can change the route when they're on the when they're on, on the way. No, no, screw the wake up. It's fine. Let's just go. Uh, where's it going? Oh, there's a caravan. Fuck. Caravan packing spot is in the wrong place. Um, once they're on the map, I'm going to have them come in from the southern side if I can. Hi there, Imhotep. Yeah, all good here. Although I'm in quite a bit of pain. I slept on my back funny because I'm rubbish. <laughs> uh, right, Stanky's ready. So, Stanky. Go over here and start smelting metal. Bring that metal inside, start turning it into incendiary shells. Then we'll start shooting the incendiaries at the bugs, burning their hives and burning them. Quite a few of them are under the mountain though, which is a bit inconvenient. Mm -hmm. Just need to keep an eye on Stanky, she's the one outside. Quite a few people are starving, sorry. Sisla is starving. George and Mr. Stomax would be obvious, but why is Sisla starving? Oh, he just woke up late. Hmm. Let's also, looking at this briefly, just before the big attack, I, I'm going to recon yeah move the turrets around so that they can all fire in a line. Because we're not going to do the northern defences. They'll get overwhelmed. We'll do the southern ones. Right. Hell, we could even move some of the traps over here, over here too. Okay. So 15 steel needed per individual shell. So come on, Mr. Stromax. Let's go. Uh, what were those four animals I didn't want to mess with them yesterday? Could I explain? Thrumbos. Basically rhinos mixed with unicorns. Uh, giant, strange, beautiful creatures with ivory. Uh, they are, however, they are, however, very big and very tough. So, taking them on is a risk. I personally choose not to take that risk because I don't think it's worth the expense. The ivory is nice and all, but taking on a thrombo. Oof. Can I collapse and seal the bugs in? Um, uh, maybe some of them, a little bit, but it wouldn't be very effective. The number of shells I would need to bring down the edges of the wall. You know. Like, maybe? Like, a little bit? This section only? And it wouldn't catch most of them because they're under the mountain. Nah. Like, it, hundreds of shells would be needed to properly collapse this. Hundreds. Right. Right. 
So how's the away team? They're on their way. Cool. George and Mr. Stromax are almost already here. So I'm just going to have them move a little bit, you see. Go here and then go here in the hopes that they come in properly from the south. I'll do the same with this, the other group. Nice. Where's that cycloid coming from? It's not a fresh batch. Must be must be from storage. Cool, they're here. So yeah, just, just, just to be safe, you know. Go here, then go there, and then come from the south. Okay, um, so what's Stanky doing? Just keep Stanky safe. Hmm. Uh, what was the age of Finn, both normal and biological? So Finn's age is... Uh, I will tell you... Uh, that she's 26 years old biologically, but 334 chronologically. So she's been in cryo quite a lot. Cool, quite a bit of seal. Just need to casually monitor the situation. I mean, them mining out these areas could be quite good for me. They're just giving me more opportunities to hit them with incendiaries. I wonder if they, if they cause a collapse themselves. I wonder if that's a thing they can do. If they tunnel too much, will they collapse the mountain on them? Is that a thing, folks? Does anyone know? Well, either way, it probably wouldn't be good for me because then they'll be like, Ah, oh, our hives are under attack. Blah, and they're just going to bum rush us before we're ready. Okay. So let's also just, for when we get out there, we'll move these traps over here so the bugs trip them. But they'll be coming in from this side. And this is where we'll be shooting from. Hmm. That's true. Because, well, no, I think they... they oh, no, I suppose you're right. Yeah, they did. They caused that themselves, didn't they? Okay. So where's the current roof area? That's what it looks like. Yeah, they need to tunnel out quite a lot if they're going to bring any of that down, really. So they'd build it. Oh no, it seems they can all dig. But they've got specific diggers, haven't they? The little fuckers. The mega scarabs. Hmm. Right, cool. So yeah, you guys just, just trundle trundle along. There we go. Just just play it safe. Okay. So Stanky's just getting some steel there. So where's Hoodoo? Hoodoo's just hauling some granite about. Hoodoo, would you mind assisting? A, yeah, grab some of that steel. Uh, oh, they're out of food. It should be fine. It should be fine. You're almost here anyway. Okay. Farina, can you just do the same? Thank you, Sofa. Thank you very much, Sofa. Uh, door open. Whoop! Cool. Go over here. Just grab some of that and bring it in. Many hands make light work. So Sankey, the combat engineer, is currently in the very, well, I was going to say very warm, slightly warm, smelter area, getting as much metal as she can. And we're going to use that metal to uh, make incendiary rounds, and we're going to start bombing the bugs. So would you two gentlemen please grab yourselves a big handful of steel and head on inside. Thank you. Cool. They're taking it all. Lovely jubbly. And I will just cancel the other things for now. Things made of metal. We can always just replace them. Ooh. Cool. Seal the door. Very good. Well done. Um, let's just temporarily go to this area and put down a... Cr yeah, it's fine. Put down a critical storage location for steel. So raw resources... Uh, steel. Thank you, guys. And we'll also just quickly do the same for chem fuel. We'll delete it momentarily so the resources will be put back. There we go, if you would be so kind. Thank you, boys. Well done. Hoodoo's already making a start. Excellent. Well done. 
Cool. And we'll just have the high explosive shells from the mortars withdrawn to be replaced with incendiaries. Lovely. Okay, the away team's are almost here. Mr. Stromax's caravan has almost arrived. And hopefully they're coming from the south, otherwise we could be in trouble. Yeah, because this is where they arrive here. Ah! <laughs> like shit. Well, we should be fine. So long as we don't piss them off. So long as we leave them alone. They're just, you know, they're, they just want to live. They're just sticking to, they just want to hang out here. Which would be fine, but we live here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. Another piece of steel was being built there. Cancel that. We need that. They're here. Oh, no. What did I just say? Like two seconds ago. You came in from the south. The, uh, no. George and Mr. Stromax. What the fuck is the matter with you? What the actual fuck is wrong with you? You penises. Go around the giant murderous bug nest. This is why I sent you to the south. Bell ends. Right. Jesus Christ. I swear, these people sometimes. Right. Okay. Where are the others? You, you guys are also bet not coming from the north. Right, so the hives are going to spawn more in 2.1 days. Plenty of time. 2.4 days. I do worry that they're going to cause cave-ins, though. <laughs> that, is a, that is an appreciable problem. If they cause cave-ins, then they'll think that I'm attacking them. And they'll go for me. Even though I've done nothing wrong. Oh, guys! North is not too bad, but still. Get the fuck over here. Coming through this entrance here. Make sure those camels are going back in the livestock area. Open up that door for them. Sorry, Stanky. Come on inside. You've done a good job. Well done. Come get some dinner. Um, yeah, there's more metal for us to retrieve later. Well done. Well done, well done. Okay. Right, the two away teams are returning home. Mr. Stromax might take a few more minutes because he's injured. Yeah, get in the infirmary, have a rest. The rest of you pile on in. Right. Extreme break wrist, Mr. Stromax, yes. I imagine so. Well, hang on, have, a, have something to eat then. If you're that hungry, eat. Then pull the rest in. Cool. Here come the camels as well. Hey, folks. Uh, no, Farano, just hold up. Same with you, Sisla. Same with you, Batman. Same with you. Oh, it's everyone coming outside. Fuck's sake. In you come. Bunch of knobheads. Oh, yeah, apparently so. Everyone's coming on inside. Right. Seal the doors there. Go about your business. Where's Mr. Stromax? He's having dinner. Eating dehydrated food. Yummy. Uh, no, 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 come on. Um, I'll just leave him. Just get inside, for fuck's sake. Um, thank you, Zeet. Thank you sincerely, Zeet. Thank you. And Monkey. Thank you, Monkey. Oh, damn it. Come on, guys. Good. Most of the bugs are sleeping. Thank you, Josh. Thank you sincerely, Josh. Thank you. Okay. Here he comes. Oh, no. George has gotten food poisoning. Oh, he had some raw milk. Damn. All right. So how are we doing on those incendiaries, Hoodoo? Can you keep working on it? Thank you. You all stay inside, if you please. Two extreme breakfast, George and Mr. Stomax here. 
There we go. Cool. Right. Okay, we're all sealed inside. We're nice and warm. We have the steel now, which is great. And we got the uh, the camels, which I believe have more. A dead Lancer. To get that deconstructed for its parts. Where's the other camel? It's already been unloaded. Good. Good, good, good. Right, so Hoodoo's working on... Yeah, he's make... yeah, good, he's making the incendiaries. Never mind about carrying them directly to the stockpile. You just focus on making them, someone else will take them. Thank you, Sneakin. Bye. Thank you very much, Sneakin. Thank you, sir. Cool, we have six incendiaries at least. Uh, so George is going to have a mental breakdown probably because of the food poisoning. He's also very tired. Uh, just, just, just drop it, man. It's fine. Uh, what's he doing? Yeah, go rest. Right. Yeah, the people who are about to have mental breakdowns, once they get in bed, they'll be fine. Dude today, why are you sleeping there? Go back to your bedroom. Lawfoot, get the fuck out of Dude today's bedroom. Fuck off. Cheeky bastard. Get back in your cell. They'll have a proper room later. Probably the same with you, Mr. Stromar. Where are you going to sleep? Oh, the infirmary for now. More bedrooms are required. It's fine, we've got the space. Just, you know, turn some of the prisoner rooms into bedrooms, if necessary. Ooh. Right, okay. This is probably the maximum size of the colony, frankly. We can't really have many more. Otherwise, Randy's going to get arsy. Yeah, we're good. We are, however, burning through our resources. Yeah, we, we had about eight, we had 8,000 units of hay. We're down to 4,000. We haven't even entered winter yet. I mean, we do have plenty of corn. But, you know, need to be a bit careful. Okay, TNT is up late. What's she doing? Making a steel auto door. Aren't you supposed to be researching? Go research. No? What's she doing? TNT. Yeah, primary research. Oh, I switched off the research bench. Of course. Low power concerns. Alright. Hoodoo's still awake making shells. Yeah, you got loads of energy. Carry on. Is there a limit to the colonists you can have? Not as far as I know, but but once it reaches a certain size, then Randy will start trying to cut them down a bit. The Sorry, uh, uh, for those not familiar, the AI director. So the AI director is monitoring the situation and is throwing challenges at you. And uh, you, you get to have different settings on the director. Uh, so Cassandra is the default. Arguably the hardest because she uh, keeps l scaling up the threat. And, and the fact that the threat is regular makes it easy to predict, but it's also quite tough to deal with. Randy Random just uh, throws everything ev everything at you randomly. And wh who's the other one? Phoebe. She's the easy mode one that barely does anything. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, nice. 17 incendiary shells. Excellent. We'll get those fired at the bugs fairly soon. Let's also make sure that the southern defences are ready to go. Which just means moving the turrets about so they're, so they're in the open. We don't have to worry about taking cover so we can just line up and shoot them. Okay. <clears throat> Where's Finn? I should send her out with a sniper rifle to take some pot shots, maybe? See how they react. Yeah, I'll do that in the morning. So George, the uh, psychopathic tribal healer at the age of 24, and uh, the brother of Cyanide, he's uh, 
Yeah, he's just joined us now. He's doing all right. He's a bit grumpy, though. Oh, food poisoning. That'll be why. And uh, Mr. Stromax, who's still in the infirmary, doesn't really know any of us. Singy's father. Uh, we'll need to give him a decent melee weapon and some armor. He can certainly make a... Uh, well, be very useful. Batman starts her day with some yayo. That's nice. Also, note what I've done in the middle here. I'm trying to make a series of store storerooms and workshops, effectively. What I'll probably do is have this as the rec room and uh, have these as bedrooms. So bedrooms on the flanks and then important core areas, work areas in the middle. Alongside the storerooms. With a fast-moving corridor system made of concrete around the edges. Which is going to let them move swiftly around the base. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you sincerely. What's he doing there? Sorry. Uh, is he? Wor oh, he's working on the assault rifle. Uh, okay, that's fine. Maybe, maybe go to bed, dude. In fact, can I just cancel that? Because um, it would be nice if uh, Stanky could do that. Her skill is much, much better. So she has a skill of 15. So let's limit the assault rifle crafting to someone with the highest skill. Um, so allowed skill, 15 out of yeah, 15 to 20. Uh, right, so uh, people are waking up. Where's Finn? I know you're quite tired, but uh, could you please wake up and get some breakfast for I have a job for you. Won't the bugs keep mining the area until it falls on them? You probably, yes. <clears throat> Which wouldn't be ideal for the reasons that I've just specified. Okay, Sisla, could you come over here? So, have you had breakfast, Sisla? Yes, he has. I'm sending... I'm not going to send him sniping. I just want him to start moving the traps. So, if you could step out. Well done. Right, so could you please start lifting the traps and putting them in place? Uh, try not to catch your fingers on any of them. <laughs> uh, right. And then, yeah, just carry on. So, he's picking up the individual steel traps, placing them over there. Right, Finn, getting breakfast. And then come to the southern entrance. Yeah, we got a couple of days. Well, yeah, probably about a day and a half until they start reproducing. So we've got a bit of time. Right, so what's the range on that sniper? Probably need to get to around about here. Just take a few, a few pot shots and see what they do. Thank you, Lelandria. Thank you sincerely. Thank you very much. 42 months. You've been exceedingly generous to me. Thank you. I know. Madness, isn't it? Sorry. Thank you, Lelandria. Ah, so incendiary... Sh yeah, let's make sure that these are loaded, at least. Does somebody have the time? Who's doing... Who's deconstructing? Oh, Podoman's doing it. Um... J-Girl. No, not J-Girl. Uh, Lady Slaughter, if you're not busy, could you please uh, pick up the incendiary shells and start loading them into the tubes? Okay, Finn's got a shot. So I just want to see how they, how the bugs react. Well, you've got to actually land the shot. Oh, wow. Okay. Very negatively is the answer. Run quickly. Go, go, go. Get the fuck out of there, Finn. I'm hoping they chill the fuck out once they lose you. Run! It'll be fine, right? Time to go, time to go, time to go. Yeah, they've lost her. Cool. Alright, well, that's good to know. So, we can't get away with picking off loads of them one by one. They'll, they'll just all bum rush the moment one dies. There we go. Cool. So they're returning to their former positions. Good to know, though. You, we could draw them into traps if needs be. You know, if we wanted to. But uh, let's focus on getting them shelled. Pretty cool looking. The, the insect hives do look cool, don't they? There's another one there. Look. They just, they just made a new one. Hmm. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. So we might as well uh, start shelling, folks. So, uh, yeah. So door C. Uh, yeah, well, the traps. I, I just want to get the traps in place. 
we don't know how soon after we start shelling that they come up they yeah, they attack us so let's get these traps in um where's uh jonah would you mind giving a hand thanks you too podo podo even so can you guys lift some of these turrets so you take that one podo you take that one just get it done quickly so that the turrets don't need to be undercover because the bugs don't use projectile weapons so you know what's he doing there up his job. There we go. Um, yeah, pick that up. Oh, see, those aren't even built. Ah, right. My mistake. So who's so? Yeah, that one there then. So pick up that. Sister's doing that one. Right. Sweet. Nice one, lads. Good job. One last one. Well, it hasn't been done yet. Alright. Uh, pile on in. We'll start the shelling. Head on in. George is upset. Major food poisoning. Yeah. Okay, so the boys step back inside. Well done. Okay, so let's start incendiary shelling, and we'll start whittling them down to the best of our ability. Um, now, I'm, it, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the bug behavior will be, because last time we did incendiary shelling, we raised the temperature to the point that the bugs sought to attack the walls to reach safe temperature. So I don't know if incendiary shelling will cause them to attack us immediately to get to the mortar tubes, or whether they'll just ignore it. I don't know. Thank you, Almost uh, Had It. Thank you very much, Almost. Thank you sincerely. Right, we'll have to give it the best shot. So, Batman, fat note, incapable of violence. Ben, hoodoo, hoodoo, and uh, not George, you're upset. Lawford, yep, man these incendiary mortars, get them loaded. Okay, so what would be the prime target? Alas, most of it is indeed under a roof. Not all of it, though. And this bit, well, that's man. Oh, hang on, is this... So, rock roof thin. I, c I can shoot through this, can't I? Not this. Holy shit, so they're super exposed. Bush, bush, bush. Fucking... Not that bit. But yeah, fuck me. They're super exposed. Let's fucking burn them. Lawfoot raises the lid there on the uh, cabinet unit, picking up a fresh, pristine incendiary shell, protected from the elements. They're standing in a courtyard. It's minus three degrees, so quite chilly out. People are... You can see that the people can see their own breath there. Okay. Calibrations complete on all three. Well done, boys. Okay. So, please target this one here. The turrets. What's wrong with the turrets? They're fine. We can turn them on remotely. Here we go. And incendiary shells. Away. So in formation, well, formation, in at the same time, three shells are launched. Okay, so are they all going to bum rush us? Two hives got set on fire. Good. Okay, this could be good because only a bunch of the, uh, only the group that came from here. Right, so let's take advantage of this. So quickly, get the southern turrets on. Right, so Jonah, Jonah, do today. This is good. Uh, right. Podo, you stay out. Stanky. Uh, J-Girl. Sisler. Hoodoo. Uh, Batman. I don't trust Gumball with a gun. Finn. Yeah, please move to the southern entrance. Go, go, go. Have fun. Right. Oh, damn. <laughs> North is like, uh? The only one left on the mortar. Uh, <laughs> Alright, get over there. Uh, and uh, Gumball, I trust... Yeah. I don't trust you with a gun, Gumball, but I trust you with an incendiary mortar. I don't know, don't know what that logic is, but here we are. Yeah, so they'll ignore the northern stuff. They'll be like, ah, there's nothing to attack. But they're coming to the south, which is what we want. Turrets uh, need to clatter to life. Podo, would you do the honors? Thank you, sir. Right, here we go. Line up, boys. Have fun. 
Ah, Batman's with us, so we got the wargs. She's the our hound master, effectively. Don't get shot in the back. Right, melee behind. Melee nearby, at least. Who do go there? Hang on, we'll do the Roman thing. Gaps in the formation for the melee to step through. Right, so they should. Yeah, they come. Fabulous. And the turrets are on. Uh, why is this one not on? Come on. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Here come the bugs. Right, so quite a few, but it's it's doable. It's fine. Right, here we go. Ben, uh, maybe just stay out of this for a second. You don't really want to. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. They're going back. Oh, that sucks. Um, can we hit them? I want to. I want to piss them off. They were. They were on their way to attack us. Crap. Oh shit. 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 That's inconvenient. Hang on. If we shoot that one, we'll. Yes. Yes. Come on. This. Way. Yeah. There we go. Right. Sweet. Yeah. Why not put the melee people in the front? They might get shot. Put them to one side for now. There we go. Open up. Good hunting. Here come the soldiers. Knock them up. Knock them up. Sorry, knock them down. <laughs> Don't knock them up. It's not that type of game. Right. Here come the soldiers. Right. Good, good, good. Get ready. Oh, they're going for a turret. Excellent. That'll explode on them. Right. And now. Melee here. Melee here. Melee here. Batman, release the hounds. Go. All the wargs get in there. Ah. Kilo charges forward with Brittany, with Oxidox and Amos. Rip them to pieces. Melee, get in there. Go. Charge. Uh, give me maybe... Watch your fire, boys. <laughs> Come on. Get in there. Get the fuck in there. Batman Jonas runs in there swinging. Mind your fire. Uh, ugh, hang on. Yeah, get in there and assist in melee. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well done. First batch dealt. Oh, there's more coming. More coming indeed. Uh, so hang on a minute. Yeah, get back to position. Go, go, go. Uh, but Batman, recall the hounds. Uh, unrelease the hounds. Hounds! Oh, fuckers. Come on, back here. Get your ass back here. Okay, Cromwell. Why is Cromwell with us? You said Crom... Fucking... Hang on. Check the other bugs. They're not coming, right? Okay! Holy shit! More than I wanted! Way more than I wanted! <laughs> oh, 17 Mega Spider Soldiers. Fuck that! Get inside! Inside, everybody. Seal the fucking doors. Inside. Turret's off. Way more than I want. Get the fuck inside. Good lord. Way more. Way, way more than I wanted. Turret's off, please. Quickly. Hopefully they'll chill the fuck out. Yes, yes. Fast your loiter door. Seal. You guys, just wait around there for a second. Yeah, they'll chill, yeah? They'll, they'll lose interest. Tell me they'll lose interest. Uh, you guys hold. Uh, lose interest, please. Go away, bugs. Go away. Oh, God, I haven't fixed the door. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, my God! I just noticed something. Um, If they break that, they're in the base. The whole base. Because I didn't fix the door on that and we'll be in a lot of trouble. Um... And there's 17 Mega Spider Soldiers. <laughs> Chucky! Go fix the water mill! Both of you! Oh, fuck. Uh, this colony's about to die. Uh, hang on a minute. 17. Are they going to chill out? Tell me they're going to chill out. What am I going to do? Think. Um, I need to... Seal this, but do I have the time? No, they're going to be through in seconds. We can't counteract what they're doing, so we have to. This is safe. 
The livestock aren't safe. Repair. We won't be able to repair it in time, will we? Where's Chucky? Fix it, 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 fix it. What the fuck was that? They need to reset. They need to fuck off. What was that hitting? Oh, they're hitting our northern turrets. Are they on us? Are they on us proper? Are they going to chill? Quickly, Chucky, get here. You're, you're a better builder. You'll be faster at repairing. Fix it! They're on us. Okay. Um, what do I do? So if they... I could fall back to a different part of the base, but what's the point if they're on us? We should just rally everyone to the defense. But do I have enough? Will we, will we be able... To, yeah, can we get to this courtyard fast enough? Um, thinking... What would be the most efficient thing to do? The most efficient thing to do would be to do this. Right, so use this as a choke point and use the rocks to slow them down as they advance on us. Okay, so Jonah. Yeah, so get the sword, the sword wielding melee here is what I'm saying. And then cut them up as they come in. Right. Send in all the boomalopes. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, okay. Um, can we assist with some high explosive shelling? No, I would assume they're all out of range. Uh, might as well give it a go. Yeah, hang on. Extract all these shells. Sorry, I just need to be a bit methodical about this. So, clear all. Whoops. Clear all. Okay, so high explosive, high explosive, high explosive. Still hold fire though, just start reloading. They're gonna grab these. Okay, so Jonah, move here. Chucky, so let's get our non combatants just away. I want you to go all the way over here and wait. So do today, move here. TNT, non combatant. In fact, I don't think we have time for non combatants. So go get some, go get that spear, then move here. Podo move here. Stanky here. It's alright. It's under control. Everything's fine. Move there. Sisla, move. Sisla, go grab this assault rifle and then move here. Udu here. Ben here. Lady Slaughter here. Farineer here. Batman here. Gumball, you stay on the mortar. Finn, here. So for the people just joining the stream, we've got a bug attack that's about to hit us. And it's going to be pretty fucking bad. They're about to breach the base. And Stromax, you just stay safe inside in the infirmary. Okay. Uh, the, at livestock, this is no longer safe. So I'm going to move them to what was the Boomalo feeding area. Uh, so yeah... What? Yeah, so never mind that. Uh, Boomalope feeding is now going to be... Yeah, go here, if you please. Wait, what? They'll be safe in there. Get the livestock away. Uh, okay, so animals, livestock, Boomalope... Uh, frankly, all the animals just get to the fucking Boomalope feeding area. Apart from the ones that are drafted... Okay, now go. So they're about to breach. Go, 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 go. So we this is this is where we hold, okay? So effectively they've got to cross all this in order to get to us. So there we go. Line at the yep, line up at the back. Good. Melee relatively at the front. Getting into a position where you can go in. On a you know, in a in a pinch. Here we go. You can stand in front of each other. I'm gonna take the Right, so they're in. So all of the soldiers are now in the base proper, okay? What is that hissing? Oh, they're going for all our turrets. So, fuck it. Get the, get the turrets on. Let them defend themselves at least. Rather than just be destroyed and do nothing. I can't access the northern turrets. They're too far away. The power grids are off. Oh, 
can I? Can I sneak around and be cheeky? Might be able to sneak around and be cheeky. Hang on. Who can do that? Lady Slaughter. You got a mission. Sneak around and be cheeky. Yeah, you can access. You can get straight there. So long as I don't breach it. Go, go, go. Right, so all the soldiers are now in. Here comes a worker. So open up. So this is this is my plan. This is where we hold, okay? Good luck, everyone. Uh, are the people with the high explosive shells ready to fire? They are. No longer hold fire. Go straight for the main group coming in, okay? Try not to hit the bedrooms, yeah. Good luck, everybody. This is the worst challenge. We yeah, this is the worst fight we've ever had, okay? This is potentially colony ending if we fuck this up. And it's already gone pretty, pretty fucking wrong, frankly. Here we go. Shells away. We've hit a bedroom, but mostly we're okay. Right. I'm sorry to do this to you. Release the animals. Let them go forward. Let them tank for us. Here we go. Here they come. Right, so Batman move here. Jonah move here. J girl, go here. You guys have got to take them. You guys have got to take them. Good luck. Oh, this is going to be vicious. A close quarter battle. Gun, yeah, go for the back row. Here we go. What was that? It was a fire phone popper. One of them hit. Make sure that the people on the mortars are not targeting the front row. Make sure they go for the back. Okay, here we go. So, deny, yeah, deny them the ability to bring multiple soldiers together. So, J-Girl is hurt, but she's okay. Get ready to replace the melee on the front line. Keep going, J-Girl. So, they may have 17 soldiers, but if they can't bring them to bear, then it does not matter. Keep firing. J-Girl's swinging her sword as best she can. She's okay. Keep firing, keep firing. Well done. Shop them up. Make sure the mortars are firing in the right place. Yep, that's fine. That's the right place. Shells away. Good hit. How's J-Girl doing? She's okay. She's fighting valiantly at the front line there. She's injured, but she's still okay. Right, who's it? TNT? Not the time. Put, take your spear and stand to one side. Okay, so how many are we down to? 13. We're doing very well. Okay, Lady Slaughter. Go this way quickly. Run, 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 run. I want you to activate... That switch. No, don't clean. What? Oh, there we go. Get get whatever remaining northern turrets we have back online, quick. And then run over here. Just need to monitor that situation. Thank you, Rook. Thank you very much, Rook. Okay, we're fighting. Good, good, good. What is that? Oh, turret. Good. Yes! Good. Jay Gull's doing very, very well, as is Brittany. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, get ready to pull J-Girl out. Right. No, keep going, J-Girl. You're doing... She's holding. Keep going, keep going. Right, mortars, make sure you've got the right targets. Just need to manage many individual little things currently. Okay, how are we doing? There are 10 remaining Mega Spider Soldiers. Most of them are now committed. So one, two, three, four. Wait, that one's downed. Holy shit. J-Girl is holding the line alongside Oxidox and Amos. Yeah! <laughs> no, J-Girl, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Calm down. She's, she's got... Yeah, she's seeing red. She's lost control. Pull back, pull back. That's it, that's it. Very good, very good. We're okay. Stay calm. Just, just everybody, just keep firing. Don't lose control. Okay, sister's getting attacked at the front. Jonah, can you relieve the pressure? Step forward. He does. Jonah's now taking the front position there. Okay, J girl, move alongside him. Well done. The corridor is holding. Although it does appear that we've one of our dogs has been injured. Cromwell. Okay, TNT, can you grab Cromwell and pull him out quickly? Mortars. Your next target is going to be that one there please fire on that one so as you can see we didn't yeah we, we've pulled the whole thermopylae we've 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 used the terrain to stop them from no lady slaughter i didn't pull her out in time run she's taking on a mega spider 
Run! Run, 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 Lady Slaughter! Run! Oh, Jesus Christ. She's got Psychite Withdrawal. Withdrawal. Massive Psychite Withdrawal. She'll never outrun that thing. Fuck! Okay. What do we do now? We Can we rescue her? We'll never get to her in time. Try. Jonah, Batman, J-Girl, go. Quick. Go, 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 go. She's down. Okay. She's not. She's down, but she's not dead. She'll die in seven hours. Her middle finger got sliced off, but she's yeah, she's fallen down in shock. Okay. Southern, so, yeah, so how many? It's the soldiers that are the big problem. Okay, she's downed. You bastard. Don't destroy that autocannon. Do you have any idea how long it took me to build that sucker? Okay. Uh, whoa, hold your horses. Okay, no, no, we're good. They're firing at the right place. Okay. Uh, still, yeah, I mean, the hides are going to spawn more in 23 hours, so we best deal with them. Um, okay. How are you guys doing here? You're all right? I think we're okay. Uh, step forward. Move forward. J girl, who... Hang on, no, wait. Brittany's hurt. Let's get some of our non-combatants to drag them away. Chucky, rescue Brittany. Uh, who else is down? Brittany, Oxidox, and Cromwell. Where's Oxidox? Rescue Oxidox. Ineffective shelling. Very ineffective. Where's the spider? It's still attacking that thing. Uh, you should be able to take it on. Yeah? Yeah, take it down. Quick. And also recall the animals so they don't run off. Okay. Um, oh, so for the people destroying the stream, um, yeah, we, we've got a major uh, incursion of giant genetically engineered insects that came through a weakness in my defenses that I did not anticipate. The water mill. They cut their way through and then they had full access to the base. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you. Right, so Batman and Jonah rush forward to deal with this spider and then save Lady Slaughter. Uh, okay. Farineer, could you go and save Lady Slaughter? Okay, quickly grab grab the people who are down. Okay, so my, my fighters, get yourselves out here and start shooting the bugs that are in the open. Just stay calm, everybody. You can do it. Just stay nice and calm. Oh, God, we know we don't have time for this shit. <laughs> we can't. Oh, no. Um, a joy wire artist called Jammer has been chased. Oh, no. It's Lawfoot's father. Oh, we can't. Seriously, we can't survive. We can't survive six elite mercenaries, 17 mercenary gunners. Uh, yeah, we can't. I'm sorry, we can't. No, they'll destroy us. They will destroy us. Okay, these guys are okay. Uh, right, so where's that soldier? There it is. So nine, nine mega spiders. So one, two, three. So the rest are injured. Okay, let's finish them off quick. So rescue the dog quickly. Good, good. Grab them. Uh, J girl, I want you to go one by one. Start, yeah, start eliminating the remaining bugs before they get up. Okay, okay. Right, shoot that one as it approaches. Are you okay, J-Girl? Oh, no, 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 no. No, J-Girl, you've done enough. Okay, well done. But I need you in the infirmary, okay? Yeah, somebody grab... Okay, you two. Get back in here. Join the others. What choice do we have, robotics? It's, it's either we try and save... It, we try to save him and lose three or four people or you know no it, it's not a question of yes let's save them or, or not it's a question of do we want to lose four or five colonists to a major bandit attack when we have no operational turrets and half our people are injured there's we can't save him we we, we can't not without losing okay whoa that's enough guys whoa okay that's enough hold fire Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, that bedroom's stuffed. Two royal beds? <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Okay. Right, so we're not done yet. This battle is still being fought, so Chucky, 
So those are just dead insects. Uh, Mr. Stromax. So yeah, J-Girl, get into the infirmary. Quickly. And who else? So Lady Slaughter. Farinir, rescue her. What about the animals? So Brittany will die. Oh no, we've lost Brittany. Bled to death. Look, she'll die in a few seconds. That sucks. That sucks. Um, okay, so where's our doctor, Ben? So Finn. George. Yeah, George is... Uh, George, can you get some food and then get to the infirmary and start treating the people? Uh, how long till Lady Slaughter dies? Five hours. J-Girl will bleed to death in nine. Um, okay. And the animals, sorry? So where's Kilo? Kilo's been down here. Dies in two hours. God damn it. Um, Jonah, do you have any medical abilities? None. Fuck. Can we try and save Kilo? TNT tending to Cromwell. Cromwell dies in one hour. Jesus. Our dogs have given so much. Where where the hell is Ben? Oh, saving Oxidox. Okay. Well, it's a shame we can't assign medical animal beds because they take they're taking them to really random beds all over the place. Thank you, dysfunctional door frame. Thank you very much, dysfunctional. So who's my remaining doctor? Sisler. Oh, he's in the battle. Okay, Sisla, can you break off to 10 to Kilo? Don't worry about meds. Just uh, get there and start trying to stop the bleeding. Right, you guys go. You've still got two more to shoot up there and then some hives to destroy. Uh, no, Sisla's off to binge on alcohol. Shit. Kilo might die. Uh... Okay, Batman, you're just going to have to try and stop the brute. Stop, not assigned to doctoring. Um, doctoring. Where's Batman? There. Just have to do your best, Batman. What? Oh. No, don't melee. Don't melee the dog to death. Just try and stop the bleeding as best you can. Um. Okay. Move forward. So Ben, is she leaving the room? Hang on a second. No, Brittany's gone. Shit. Yeah, just do your best. Oh, this is so bleeding so much. So much. Holy shit. Um, George, get over there quick. See if you can do it faster. Soldiers should be able to handle this situation. Gun it down. Well done. Kill the remaining worker. Then get up there and start meleeing the yeah, melee those down. Okay, go George, go George. Okay, one's up. Well done, Batman. Just get that one. Yes, well done. Okay. Stand down. So George, just start. Yeah, much faster. Can we save it? Seconds. Try to save Kilo as best you can. Uh, ben has run off to get meds. No, Ben's gone to bed. Ben! Ten to Oxidox, for fuck's sake. Okay. Our own people are bleeding. Lady Slaughter dies in four hours. Uh... Okay, George. Quickly get that done and go to Lady Slaughter. Major break with Lawfoot. Okay. Uh, can we... Deal with the hives tomorrow? The answer is mate. Yes, actually. That one breeds in nine hours. So we'll have one to deal with, but that's not insurmountable. Get inside. Everyone get inside, get some rest, get some food. Yeah, people are hurt. Okay, where's George? We'll deal with the hives tomorrow. Has George done it? Come on, George, stop the bleeding. Uh, no, he's going to be on that the whole time, isn't he? J-Girl needs someone to heal her. Uh, Lady Slaughter, even. She dies in four hours. Who else can do doctoring? TNT has some skill. TNT, start working on Lady Slaughter. And let's get some more sleeping zones in the med area. 
I need to replace them with decent medical beds. Mortar team chilling. Good point. Stand down. Thank you. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. That's not a bad shout. Sorry, no, you are right. Before you do, folks, let's see if we can get some burning at least. Yeah. As in just a quick... Saturate that area with flame. The flame will keep burning overnight. Okay, there we go. Hold fire for a second. Incendiary shells loaded. Ready to fire. Yeah, yeah. Because the fire will at least spread. That's something. Uh, so we're just going to go straight for this bit here. You're free to fire. Okay, so... There we go. J-Girl bleeds to death in seven hours. The Lady Slaughter in three hours, but she should be okay. Incendiary shells away. Good, 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 good. Two of the hides will be dealt with. Yeah, holy shit, Muzi. That could have been a colony wipe there. With through, uh, If I had less experience, that would have almost certainly been a colony wipe. But I knew that it was going to be a close quarters melee battle. In such situations... Your um, your choices are really to sell territory to them. So, in other words, flee individual rooms and set them on fire. That would have been one option. So, draw them into the base. Boom. Retreat. Boom. Uh, that's a better option if you have a mountain base where things are properly sealed. However, the moment of a roof is penetrated or or they break through easily, you know, these wooden doors, because I haven't really built it in that in that way, um, you know, they can just disp get the superheated air out. So that would have been one option. The other option would have been to, as I did there, uh, have a choke point. So the slate chunks slowed, uh, made them slow. My melee fighters had mostly shield. So the accidental ping of a bullet off the top of them wouldn't have been fatal. And we just uh, fucking mowed them down. So, um, yeah. That that could have gone... Had I not known those, those two elements of the base fighting, having lost many other bases... Uh, then I think I could have gone very, very badly indeed. But uh, yeah, I think it worked out. Right. It is, however, not over. We've got to keep working on this. So hang on. So my main medics. Ben is tending to Oxidox. Well done. And I think MVP. Holy shit. J-Girl. Fuck. Like a dancer she was in the middle of the corridor with that plasteel longsword. Slashing down bug after bug that just came charging at her. She's probably just utterly drenched in bug goo. From head to toe. Fearless. Utterly fearless. As the bullets just whizzed past her. Like angry bees. The sound of them just cracking over her, he over her head. She did not stop fighting. Uh, Lady Slaughter. Medical emergency. Should be fine. The bleeding is being stopped. Jonah, could you report to the... Yeah, report to the med bay. Who else is particularly injured? Batman is hurt. Yeah, your right leg is a deep wound there. A mega spider managed to jam its bladed leg uh, yeah, into her leg. Cool. Uh, well done. So they're ready to fire again. Uh, change your target to... Okay. Then stand down. Well done. Good job, mortar team. Ah, it's a miss, but, you know, be fine. Okay, uh, do we have any surviving bugs? Sorry, four surviving Mega Spider soldiers. Um, some of them may indeed recover. Do today, would you mind uh, just quickly going over and making sure we finish that job? Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah, I think they fought well, didn't they? They all fought very well. And props to the wargs as well. Uh, so are they all... Yeah, they're hurt. Ben, I'm sorry. I know you're tired, but we don't have time for our doctors to be sleeping. You've got to wake up on your feet. How? Stand by. Is that due today? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, m um, herbal meds aren't looking that great. I'm going to now restrict them in case of infections. You're just gonna have to use the yeah, use basic bandages. I'm afraid. Melee the hides. We will. Yes, we will. Um, it, do I have any free melee fighter? How long until that hive... Seven hours until that hive spawns on us. Do I have a free uninjured melee fighter? 
Jonah's injured, Jay Girl's injured, Batman's injured. Um, I suppose Mr. Stro. Uh, he's in the little bit. No. Leave him. Um, what about TNT? You've got your spear. What are you doing? Oh, no, you're tending to the dogs. Oh, shit. Oh, of course, I restricted them here. Amos will die in nine hours. Yeah, tend to Amos. Then I'll send TNT to go stab some hives. Thank you, Fadzil. Thank you very much, Fadzil. Well done, everybody. Gun him down. God, what a mess. It's gonna take a while to get the stink out of that corridor, eh? <laughs> right, okay. TNT, well done. Please take your spear and march up here to stab that hive that will spawn in six hours. You should be able to destroy it in time. If you're quick, off you go. We're okay. We're okay. <clears throat> okay. Jay girl, indeed. Jay girl has. Uh, oh no, her left leg was cut off, and she got a peg. Really, so she was hopping around on a peg leg when she was doing that, like an angry pogo stick. She was cutting down, cutting down the uh, the bugs. Thank you, and and Jenks. Wait, and and Jenks. And Gamer, thank you kindly. Thank you very much. Okay, do today. Actually, can you go with do today? I'd feel more comfortable if you went with her. Okay, so the people in the infirmary are... Batman has not been patched up. She's bleeding all over the floor. Ben's gone to bed again. George has gone to bed. George, wake up. Tend to Batman. Uh, Law Fot is stressed, but otherwise okay. Can you just clean the blood? And can someone pull Kilo into one of the beds? No, everyone's sleeping. Let Kilo rest. Mm. Item stash quest. Mm. Looks nice, but we don't have the time right now. Uh, just going to quickly have a look. One day, 16 hours. Is it? Are any of these going to just suddenly surprise me and kill my people? Some of them are getting close, but... Yeah, we'll, should be able, we'll take it out in four hours, easy. Thank you, uh, QQ Cry More QQ. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well done. Start taking them out one by one. Right. Whew. Get that job done. Jonah's fully healed. <laughs> We're okay. Do the hives respawn? I don't entirely know the mechanic behind it. I think the bugs build them. So you need bugs to build them. And I think they do it after like a certain number of... Like, there's some factor. Maybe it's the amount of insect jelly they make. I, I don't know. But they will keep multiplying, certainly. And the hives will keep growing fresh workers and soldiers. Thank you, Pogo. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. But yes, it was a, a nasty attack, but we're alive. Okay. Let's also allow access to the jelly. And we need to return the animals to the livestock room. So animals, uh, lives, so where are they? Boomalopes go back to the livestock area. And we'll... Let the cats and dogs go back to the cats and dogs area. You guys can go back to your beds. Uh, let's also make sure some meat is available 
for the dogs so that they, they don't have to hunt their own stuff. Who's free? Or is he free? Uh, raw food, meat. Oh, it's only insect meat. All meat. Thank you, Cruddy. Thank you sincerely, Cruddy. Thank you very much. Can I haul some? Well, it's, no, I suppose we've got insect meat coming, haven't we? Indeed, the bug jelly is uh, delicious and nutritious. We'll definitely eat some of it. Fuck, I just got all the turrets built. Fuck's sake. And we lost some bedrooms as well. Right, um, alas, I'm afraid I've run out of time this morning. So it's uh, 21 minutes past one. And uh, it's time for me to go and get on with work today. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, folks. So this has been a bit of Coloma's Creek, the sixth year entering the winter. So it's uh, the second to last day of autumn. It's currently minus 12 degrees outside. And we just had to deal with a particularly nasty bug infestation, which saw them enter the base from the water mill. Something that I didn't expect. Or rather, I didn't have the defenses properly up and running by the time that, you know, that was a week. Yeah, I fucked up, basically. Uh, we saw the defense of the colony. Uh, J-Girl, MVP, she certainly held the line there with her sword. And, um, yeah, we're okay. Lost a couple of dogs, though. Uh, we lost, uh, who did we lose? We lost Brittany, and we lost another one, didn't we? Um, so that sucks, in sucks indeed. But, um, yeah, we're alive. Our people are alive. Right. So, yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll do some more at some point later. Uh, but for now, what am I doing? I'm going to go and I'm going to work on a side project of mine. So, in addition to the bullshitteries, I have some video essays that, are, that I'm working on. I asked for opinions from my patrons and Twitch subs by email and I received them. So, thank you very much if you sent me a message. Uh, I need to respond to some of them now, though, because some of them, yeah, I'm just going to respond to some of them. Um, and, uh... Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go and crack on with edit editing one of these side projects and try and try and work this the well these video essays to eventual completion for the channel hopefully you know so it's, I'm still a way off. Right, uh let me have a look and see who's playing now. Uh so where are my clan mates? Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so none of ZF are currently on. I'm the only one. Uh, what about anyone I'm following? Oh, okay, no one I'm following is currently live. How surprising. Alright then, so let's have a look and see who's playing RimWorld. So, let's pick someone playing RimWorld. Uh, let's pick somebody all the way down the list. Uh, who are you? Okay, do you speak English? He looks very bored. He's got a face cam. Say say something. Speak. Okay, but he's not speaking. That's not a good sign. Uh, pick a different one. Hang on a minute. Uh, do, 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 do. what's this? Who's this? Four people. He's English. He's speaking. Oh dear, that's quite an obnoxious background though. Eh. I'll let you decide. Anyway, so I'm going to hand you over to this guy. He's all the way at the bottom of the list playing RimWorld. Uh, so please be nice, folks. Please be polite. Make a good impression. Don't act like chimpanzees. And then later on, you can tell me if he's good to watch or not. Uh, yeah, cool. Right, so I'm going to hand you over to a guy called uh, Jake 3D. Um, yeah, that is quite... It's got quite a background going on there. I don't, don't know what that's about. But um, yeah, anyway, so have a good one. All the best. And uh, yeah, so this is some more RimWorld with this guy called Jake. Take care and have a lovely afternoon.